Okay. Cheers. Hopefully you guys are ready for this. So let's go full on tinfoil hat. This is a conspiracy, but there's something going on with these NYX uh, Quabog heel caps or cap lifts, whatever, or top lifts, whatever you want to call them. These white ones and this pair, you know, I just bought this at the end of 2023. This was a uh, father, or sorry, this was a Cyber Monday sale boot. The previous whites, I had a, so this is a cutter, a C350 cutter. I had a C350 cruiser previously, I sold that. I had a semi dress that was actually from a few years ago that I bought last year. And then I even have, I, I didn't want to take them out of the box, they're up in my closet, but I have those auto white vintage, which are from like 2019 or 2017, 2018, some, uh, some years ago. All of them are the same as this, where they're super shallow. And I'm gonna use a penny, you know, for like, think of cars and thre uh, tread depth. Like basically there's nothing here. I can't get this too close, I guess, but maybe I should have shot this with a different lens. But this is, this is it. So, you know, let me try the different angle. So, trying to do the whole, you know, you, you measure, if you can't, if his top of his head doesn't get below there. Yeah, this isn't working at all. Anyway, you get the gist. There's almost nothing here. So these are really shallow in the back. I can barely get the penny in there at all. You know, there's there's nothing here. Maybe up front, yeah. So it, like it barely can even hold. It barely can hold. There is almost no trench trench there at all. It's it's super shallow, and that's great because when you grind down too much, it has, like you can see this heel, it's wearing. It's almost flush now. Supposedly, the Quabogs Nick ha Nix has are the same, but they're not. And this is the result of them when they are these super deep ones is they've when they sand them too narrow they can break off which is what happened here not the end of the world but lame and it's because of this stupid deep trench so these have quite a bit more depth to them it looks the same like the pattern's the same but I can get if I stick this down in there it's it's touching the top of his hair Do you see that I don't know if this focus is that close. This is significantly deeper of a trench in, in the, this mold that the ones that Nyx has than the White's ones. And they're all like this. So this, this I got last year, kind of in the summer quick ship. This I got also in the summer. This is my uh, uh, milled buck brown, same thing, very deep. This is an old pair from 2020, which was the 721. So this is this is the eBay pair. This is the one you famously saw in the Big Four video. Same deal. It's deep. They're all deep. This heel is quite a bit different. They didn't sand down as much years ago. They leave way more of a ledge, which allows this to stay thick and doesn't fall apart. But the whites ones. They're super shallow. There's nothing there. And you know, this pair, they did better. Whoever sanded it, you know, they, they kept enough on this one that it's not gonna fall apart. But the right boot wasn't so lucky and they had sanded it super close. I think I have a photo. If I do, I'll try to remember to put it in here where it showed us kind of rolling back and then it finally just broke off one day. So I guess I'm kind of hoping as this wears, it'll end up just kind of looking like, you know, wear off on the corner, because right now it looks kind of stupid. But I'm convinced Quabog is giving them a different top lift for some reason. And Whites has gotten the old style one for years because all of my older Whites, including that quite old, you know, uh, auto white vintage pair, which again is definitely before 2020. I think it's like 2019 or older. All of them, all the whites ones are shallow. And every Nyx pair, my oldest Nyx isn't that old, it's from 2021, all have this deep, deep trench 
on that. Whenever they're, however they're molding these, they have this deep trench. I don't know why. It's a, it's a poor, it's a poor design. I, w I don't understand if Quavog makes slightly variants, like va different variants of the same product, and they don't realize they're getting a slightly different one, or Whites has some special version that they've requested from maybe customer issues. I don't, I don't know the, cons you know, it's a conspiracy. I should put like get some foil and put it on my head, but it's real, and. I think Nick should try to figure it out and figure out how Whites gets the kind of better design because there's no value in having that trench. If anything, it's stupid because it catches pebbles and rocks and then they're going to scrape, scrape up your wood floor if you come in your house or wherever you're on. You don't want a little tiny rock stuck in your heel that doesn't add value for anybody. It's the same as the, you know, the V100 heels, they pick up dirt like crazy. It's like the trade-off, it's like, yeah, they have good tread. And traction but in the mud they're a disaster because they just pick up all the mud but there's no gain in having that deeper trench and it, it compromises the product and you end up with stuff like this and I'm not the only one because I remember seeing it on reddit once I don't know if it's that common but you know they claim this is why they changed their heel grind but this was post the redo of heel grinds and it's still screwed up so clearly the fault is of the quabog it, it, you know knowing they make different versions they they should get to the bottom of this and make sure that their future orders of the top lifts are like the white style because it's a it's a it's a superior version of the same thing very uh, random video but uh, it's a real problem and you know this is the only one that's failed but uh, I don't think this is the, th the one this one's actually really good or you know good enough my other the the right boot of this milled buck brown is similar to that where they it got really skinny and it never failed uh my original pair of nicks those natural dublin same thing it's kind of thin but it didn't fail uh, this pair is the only one that's failed so you know whatever how many pairs have i bought and only one failed but it's just like a liability that doesn't serve a purpose if there was some alter reason like if there was a a value in having that deeper trench because it gave you superior grip or something then okay but I, i'm not seeing it it just seems like a slightly different mold where they just depress that shape in a little deeper and all that does is mean it's compromised as far as durability it doesn't add to grip so that's my uh conspiracy for the day cheers